Lords and ladies, welcome back to my street five years later with your host, Jacob Butter. I still, oh wow, I'm still liking this warped version here. Uh, Escusi. There we go. Alright, so I'm here now, of course. Um, oh, I completely forgot to send it in, um, in the stream in my regular, in one of my chats. Let me just do that. I'm going to have to stall for time a little bit here because I haven't, this the download is being very slow today, so I need to do that first. But, um, but yeah. Let me just, I also have a guest that I have, um, that I said I was going to invite because we were doing a, um, because we're doing a, Let's play together. You know, all very exciting stuff. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. Just invite her over. And da 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 there we go. Alright. Okay, so now we wait essentially. How's it doing? 14%. Alright, anyways, welcome, welcome our guest, BB. I don't have the round of applause this time because. Hey! I... Hey! Woo! <laughs> Loving the enthusiasm. Very too... excited. Oh, wow. Just so you know, like, immediately as soon as you joined, three, pe three new people showed up here. I'm some... simply the best. Indeed, yeah, better than all the rest. And also, for the first time in, in uh, ages, I think someone's actually watching this on Facebook Live. So, Fuck. welcome to oh, the person watching on that. Facebook. Huh? Yeah. Wait, what? I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying something about, I thought you were saying you were Facebook Live. Okay. So, yeah. Um, um, to one person watching on Facebook Live, normally we don't have to wait this long for it to start. Um, it's just the fact that the download is still only at 17%, so we're kind of just um, stalling for time a little bit, waiting for things. Oh, and do they leave? They left. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we're just not good enough with Facebook moms. I guess not. There you go. I'll tell you what, Fa Facebook Live, the one thing that's been really good at doing, actually, is, um, is letting me download um, the actual VODs themselves, so I can put them on YouTube later, because Restream doesn't keep them for longer than 15 days, and Twitch doesn't keep them at all, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a good option and also, it also um, timestamps them, so I know what date they're on and such so I can figure out which episode it is without having to load too much or, you know, do guesswork so, Yeah, yeah I've been... Helpful. I've been watching this uh, horror series for a bit. I I wanted to watch with Mimi, but uh, over the last few weeks, they keep on rescheduling. And then... Oh, yeah, because they can look their leg now, right? Yeah, that's their recent reason, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so now they have the leg. And this time, they didn't even tell me, like, oh, we'll do it next week, like they usually do. So I just went off and watched some of it anyways, because at that point I just gave up. Like, I've sat there for about six or seven weeks trying to sit down with them. Yeah, so. Um, series is great, though. Uh, I don't know. Do you know what Hyper RPG is? Um, that just kind of sounds like you're role-playing on a sugar rush to me. No, that's that's uh that's a YouTube channel that does of course TTRPGs and there's like this setting that they have it's like a multiverse or something I don't know the nitty-gritty details of it yet but uh it's like this multiverse and most of it's like horror I think all of it's actually horror the whole thing is called the Phobo saga Wait wait so say you say the Hobo saga or the Bobo saga Phobo Saga, like oh, P H O B O S. Okay. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, God of Fear. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, no, I've I've been watching the first series in it, Tin Candles, uh, which is like an anthology series they have, and they they all have like different volumes for it. Like each story has different volumes, and so the first three episodes are part of like, uh, uh volume one, which I think was like the forest or something. That was a fun experience. I liked that one. Uh, but it was also the first one, so of course it's it's the only one to really judge on. But I okay. I started watching the fourth episode, which was the start of the second volume, and. Mm -hmm. That one is is trying to kind of mix horror with like more of a true crime type of vibe, whereas the first volume was the more stereotypical. They go into the woods and weird things happen because they stepped into the wrong territory for a camping trip. I see. They run into a gilded bear or something, and then they end up being mauled to death. But that's a little tame for the things they went through in that volume, but sure. Okay, fine. They run into a, a gilded chimera. Fair enough. <laughs> try, try walking tree. How? We, okay, so so bear and chimera are too are too tame. Walking tree is is more extreme, apparently. Yeah, like it's a, a gigantic burning tree. Oh, burning tree. I see. Now, now we're talking. Yeah. Uh, there's I like this. Treebeard. Somebody please put out my flames. <laughs> Some Lord of the Rings fan is gonna be like, Treebeard is the tree, he's an ant, he says so himself. I know, I know, it's a joke. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm aware. No, there is like. I don't know if people watching this are gonna wanna watch this now that I'm talking about it, but. There's if a you like really trees, then you know it's the thing for you apparently. Global well, it has going. this, it has this really cool explanation for all of it, and it was a really fun. The last yeah, I, episode. I just, I just said it. It's called global warming. <laughs> uh, but no, the the third episode is the best of that volume, just because it kind of tied everything together in a really cool way. Hmm. But I, but I, so far I am, I, I am preferring the second volume. I like the more, cause, like we've all seen like the a bunch of teens go into the forest and bad things happen horror trope. But like, we've we've seen person going into place and bad things happen as a horror trope. Yeah, but woods is like a, a big one. They go to like a log cabin or something, or which is actually oh, a moment that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the second volume, I mean, of course, it's happened before, but it's not as common, where it's kind of like a mix between, like, a true crime show mixed with horror. Mm -hmm. The, the cool part about the whole twist, though, is because, like, you can find all the VODs on, on their YouTube channel, this series is over at this point, but whenever it was happening, and the, so the Phobo saga is still happening, but, but Tin Candles isn't. Um, but the cool thing about it is because they're streaming it, they allow the audience to interact with this, so they can donate a certain amount of money for something to happen. Like, 20 oh, we, bucks. We should, we should do that, that when we play D&D, not the money part, but the asking the audience. Uh, yeah. But, uh, 20 bucks gives them, like, hope die, which in tin candles, basically, if you run out of hope, which is which is the certain amount of uh, re rolls you have if you get a one on a die. Uh, one of the one of the ten candles goes out, and a bunch of new truths are revealed, which add just random things to the story that you can weave in. I see. Uh, but, um, I, I would I would write in Mia Villa suddenly finding like finding the hope and returning her family to its uh, its prior state. Yeah, uh, can burn once more. uh, if you donate 50 bucks, then you can add a truth, which in the normal game, of course, they aren't intending you to, to stream it. So you, so the DM or game master does the truth or whatever. But in this case, they let the, the audience do it. So they, they donate money to add truths, which 
propel the story forward. And that's cool just because it's the audience making things happen. Like, certain things in the story would not happen without them. Yeah, absolutely. And a hundred bucks... What was it? This is the last donation option. Uh, oh, that's right. hundred bucks is you get to write a short little thing and as the game master and and you get to just say whatever happens right then and there. You don't have to wait for a candle to go out to say a truth or anything. Hmm. That all sounds very interesting. Um, and we can continue to talk about it for the next um, 13 to 15 <laughs> minutes depending on what my calendar thing says. Really? What a what a interesting number choice you just made. Oh yeah, it, it, it keeps fluctuating between like 13, 15, now it's going down to 12, 13, 14. It can't make its mind up. Well, at least it's going down and not up. Well, I mean, that's the thing, it's going, yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, exactly. Actually, that's You know, at least, at least now 12 is, is an option and not 18. Yeah, it's, it's, it's we're currently at 50% downloaded. I'm thinking maybe I just like share screens for a bit and then we just and then we'll, we'll go on there. Although actually, um, before that, I actually do have someone in the chat here. It's Adley again saying hey hey, and it sounds like fun. Yes, um, sounds like a properly American machine apparently. Wait, well, well, no, well, no wonder there's a problem. You took a machine from us. What? Don't you know it tries to be just as free as we do? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, just, guess, just, just adds, don't. I just... guess that adds some butt to my global warming theory for the fire for the flaming trees. Yeah, I mean, just don't mention taking away its guns. Oh yeah, of course. That that that's one machine that you can't take away from an American on any circle. God no. <laughs> Yeah, no, your computer's gonna overheat if you if you threaten to take away its weapons. Uh, you know, you know, I see one thing now that you're here. One thing I just show you actually is um is the musicals of Team Star Kid, because that there's there's a musical called Holy Musical Batman. Um, where there's, there's a song that's that's literally about the American way, actually, and it's a, it's a it's an it's an upbeat, campy rendition of a Batman vs. Superman before the film Batman vs. Superman came out. <laughs> so, to be yeah, fair, that, that's what, a, what to they be thought fair. of the American ideal. That's a duo that people have always kind of wanted to see go down. I mean, it's it's a yeah. and it and it has gone down before the film came out. It happened once in Dark Knight Returns. That was a comic series and adapted into an animated film. Mm, yeah, I just, I just love the fact that, that the teams Star Kid consistently, in their parody musicals, do concepts better than professional companies do, whether before or after them. Because I mean, I don't know, I, I don't know what what's got what's more revered by people, the 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 um, the the cursed child or the play where Voldemort tap dances. And that's a genuine thing. Like I'm sure that that, that one is more revered. <laughs> he just, like comes off Crow's back and starts like, "I take my foot, do, 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 my little foot." <laughs> that's the dumbest thing. The dumbest thing. That's so stupid. That's not even in the top ten stupid things that happen in that musical. Sorry, Von, what does what now? Yeah, we're watching Team Starkid later. You're welcome in advance. Oh no, am I gonna am I gonna stay here for another stream, I guess, afterwards? Oh, I'm actually I'm very hungry, so I'm not gonna stay for too long after this one. I'm just oh, saying okay. in general, but yeah. Because <laughs> the thing is like Team Starkid are really funny and they have genuinely good songs that go along with the parodies that they do. And as original plays, now there's more original stuff as well. So it's uh, definitely an interesting one. They, they, they did, a, they did a, a version of the Trail to Oregon, like the you know, the, the Macintosh game, and um, and they, they have a they have a whole number about some um, uh, hallucinating on snake venom about dysentery. Yeah. There's a there's, there's a there's a good one. There's something for everyone in there, actually. Uh. 
I know there's, I, I have actually seen a clip from that one. There's like a running joke, right? Where they blame everything on God. Yes. Yes, there is. Actually, that's, um, that resulted one that in, um, in Red Legend Studios, who is, is, um, who is very Christian, actually, to, to, to entirely shun all of Team Starkid without seeing the musical itself. And it's like, okay, then not like that one specifically, but, you know, my personal favorite one is Firebringer, which has nothing to do with God. Oh, wait, actually, no, a little bit. A little bit to do with God, actually. Now I think about it. But, but only in the sense that there's, that there's a whole thing about them, because they're, they're in their prehistoric times, they've and they're trying to figure out the world, but they just invented the fact there's a duck that they worship for a bit. I like worshipping ducks. Yeah, there's, th there's this whole character called Ducker as well, who's like, who, like, the whole point is that he is, like, the, uh, the priest of the duck. And only he can interpret his divine will. You know. <laughs> But but is the Hitler. duck religion monotheistic or duck polytheistic? Hitler. Is there more ducks? Well, actually, the thing is that um, <laughs> that as it turns out, there's a different um, the the um the grandmother who like made up the duck religion actually keeps replacing the ducks. So they keep escaping, but the the entire tribe thinks it's just the duck changing color. So they think there's one duck and there's actually several. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of both. Mono and polytheist, depending on who you ask. His yeah, that Lord, sounds like a religion. Duck is Lord. He is Lord, Lord, Lord. Duck is Lord. <laughs> okay. Come on. 72%. Um, Sorry. They. Um, they, they um, it's okay. They, they shun... also did Star Wars. <laughs> they did a Star Wars one. But it was they, they with, um, it was called Annie A and I, and it was about Darth Vader looking back on his days, on the good old days of pod racing, and missing that, and going leaving the Death Star at one point for one last pod race. Grand Moff Tarkin has a crush on a stormtrooper, but you never see, see you never see, it. yeah. See, they may shun Star Kid, but I shun Jesus. And that's now on the stream forever. And I don't regret it. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> from my from my personal standpoint, you know, ha have whatever faith you want, just don't be obnoxious about it. <laughs> he wants me dead. I'll burn him at the stake too. Wait, what? Who wants you dead? Did Jesus ever Jesus. say he What? What would he? Does, he hates the gays. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. All right then. This is he Scottish fears Virginia. the gays. He threatens. He th he tells us that we'll it's burn the world. Said, please load. If there is a god <laughs> out there, get me to a hundred percent so we can move on to Afmal, please. There's only so many Team Starkid musicals I can talk about. Actually, I can burn about, like, Christ! Burn Christ! Burn Christ! Um, so, uh, what else have they done? They've done, um, they've done a couple of ones that are in a connected universe, the Star Kids universe now, um, was the, the, I'm gonna call it the Hatchet Fields universe, where, um, this one was like a, a, one of the most, like, clever ones, the other guy who didn't like musicals, Rambu and Tavo, did a reaction to this one, actually, a while ago, um, and, uh, yeah, so um, it's, it's one where they actually it was a meteorite that crashes down, and the main character who hates musicals is stuck in the world where, like, you know, these, these creatures are assimilating into a hive mind, all surrounding, surrounding musicals. So he's literally trapped in his own personal hell because of the fact that, because of his, <laughs> because of his bias. And also, sounds yeah, like Twitter. Just, I mean, yeah, potentially. I know. I, I would. Like, like, I want to talk about that one. Like, that one is, like, uh, was, like worthy of studying, especially in the aspects of, um, you know, what do you want, Paul? You know, stuff like that. Yeah. Anyways, there's that as well. And then the, the next year, they did one called Black Friday, which has some of the same characters, but have, in it, surprisingly, they've reset a few of them, even though it doesn't make any sense, because they also, they also make it a continuation. I don't know how that works, but they did that, too. Um, and that one... It's all about um, American communism, 
and so, so this so the, the plot is that there's this new toy called a tickle me wiggly that's um that you know no kid has asked for but people all the grown-ups think because of the marketing campaign is going to make their kids love them so you know they're all they're all going mad of this thing that turns out is actually um actually an alien that is um trying to actually you know actually fizzy enough become a god what a surprise they go back to this again <laughs> so uh so, so that so that happens and the whole thing's like oh it had to be a product you know because no one worships anything else anymore apart from products you know they they, they don't they go hard with their american commentary or world commentary in general but mostly american <laughs> So that's what I was saying. There's a lot to get into with America as far as our problems go. Yep, and Team Star has been doing that for years, whether it's in a Batman parody or if it's in an original musical that actually gets very emotional and very serious at times. Speaking of emotional, after recent events, I guess Twitter decided that the Minecraft in poem bot would show up in my feed and say something like this. The days were short, there was much to do, and death was a temporary inconvenience. You see, you know how you said that when you play pop shows today that, you know, that you might be, it might be that the game is DDLC in you? No, that's DDLC in you, because that poem fits right in with that game. Yeah. The... It, it it puts in little quotes from the from the end poem every hour, and I okay. hate that it start. It only started showing up in my feed after the news last night, which is the worst because the end poem for people who have actually read it would know it gets existential very fast for the entirety of the Minecraft credits. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> I guess I guess that bot's got to uh, got to wake up after a bit, you know. <laughs> like that, that, like I think that's you know, really what started the whole Minecraft lore thing. The fact that that in poem implied some things. Yeah, very true. It does seem interesting. That, that, well, one thing that I was always was curious about with the end poem was the fact that it. it that even after like the whole like the uh, you get past the credits, and you just it just takes you back to the exact place that you were before. It's like, am I still dreaming now? Am I supposed to wake up? Am I able to close the account down? What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> we need to open up your account for someone else. Delete it. Delete it quick. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Come on, ninety six percent. One minute left. One simple minute. Remember, this has been going for half an hour. We've only been talking about God, America, and Team Starkid, and Minecraft end poems. This is meant to be a place of af now. Eh, same thing. <laughs> uh... See, I can never control whenever this thing takes ages or when it, like, it takes a few seconds. Because I can download one app video and it will be done in less than a minute. If I can download another one, it will take an hour. There is like there is no in between. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on keep on waiting. That's at 99%. And the seconds go up and down periodically as well. We're down to 14. It's hit at 14 for more than a second. We're down to 10, 9, 7, 8, 7. Six, five, six, three, two, one, zero, question mark, complete. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to dissect that. Anyways, um, I can f say this part of the video, but, oh, no, never mind, I need to set the, uh, today we're looking at her dad. Starlight episode 10. I'm not even going to try and do an intro this time. Let's just play the video. No, sorry. I don't know what we're doing. Can you give us the intro anyways? No. But I'm so confused. How will I learn what's happening? 
by watching. I'm blind. Are you insulting disabled people? <laughs> I don't like. I don't like. I don't like how you. I don't like how you start doing this as you do that weird like, like what? laugh. It's. It reminds me of that one thing in Star Trek where, where that one dude's like. I think I was just one was like, million dollars. Yes. One. Yeah. I can't. I, I can't do it. But yeah. Something like that. One million dollars. I don't know. But yeah, it's best skills because I'm uh, I have I have snacks when I have the stream I do streams, and also I'm extremely hungry. Um, I would hope that's what yeah. you would eat, yeah. And yeah, just during the stream. Was... <laughs> Ev, don't worry, I I'm fine. But this this is the last time we see Ahmatron or Aaron, so you know, have fun with it. Ev, you didn't have to. No. Why are you doing this? It's only gonna hurt you. The reason I'm doing this is because I've always wanted to be with you. I mean, you can still be with him regardless of whether or not you heal his scars, but, you know. Please, let me try again. F! Okay, how? She fell forwards, right? So how is he catching her backwards? I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. I'm just really tired. My energy is completely drained. Of course it is. This happens time too. I wanted to heal you before you went to your session. You dummy. That's what the therapy sessions are for. I was about to say that. Thank you, Aaron. You, <laughs> you beat me to it. Healing. I know, but... I wanted to heal a deeper wound. You know something? Actually, she should start doing this, like, when they're about to go to sleep, actually. You know, because it, it drains her energy, so why not? You're, like, right there, the bed's next to you. Just go, like, alright. Okay, I'm done for the day. <laughs> Just, like, like, like that, that one... Like the president's daughter and free bird just go, I'm tired now. <laughs> like that. Problem solved. Come on. You need your rest. Aaron. You need to go to your session. What? Yeah, he's already. Uh, but you. He said he was already I'll be do that. fine. Your wounds are more important. I want you to recover. I can hold off. I mean, that's, that's a fair point, just because, I mean, she is, the only thing we can see from her right now is that she's tired. It doesn't seem like, like she's being physically hurt by healing him. It's more so that just, it's just draining. So essentially, she's like, oh no, maybe a bit of a, you know, a bit of a workout, essentially. But yeah, it's not like she needs, she's in pain and needs to be cared for, you know, yet. We'll leave that a couple episodes. Honestly, I just want to make sure you're okay. Aaron, please. Oh, all right. <laughs> Good. I'm still worried though, so I'm gonna have Melissa check up on you while I'm gone. That's fine, as long as you go. <laughs> well, the best part about this session is that it should be the last one. So, after this, we can go to the parks. Really? Yes, really. Yeah, that means they're built now. Get some rest, babe. I'll be back soon. <laughs> <laughs> Already sleeping. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> These so are snoring cute. sounds, apparently. <laughs> didn't talk over it this time. Ah, oh, you have Welcome no idea here. how much I needed this vacation. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we're, you're right, Lucinda, we have no idea because we've been gone for the last five episodes at least. Maybe more. You said it! 
Huh? It's just... <clears throat> I'm not really sure what you do, Kim. Do you work? Or go to school? Or... I'm a yoga instructor. Wh what? I mean, I guess we're getting more now. This is like this is like an Aiden conversation. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I guess if it didn't come up before, but I don't know. Maybe you would have... You'd have thought they would have at least covered this basis this at this point. And yes, and yes, Adri, it's her. Like I said, she's been gone for the past at least five episodes, maybe like seven or eight. I don't know. So yeah, we literally do not know how much she needed this vacation. She was out doing yoga. Well, clearly, she, clearly not, because you didn't know that Kim was an instructor. I feel like Kim would have mentioned that before otherwise. What? Really? Yep. Or at least I was before we came on vacation. I left the studio I was with. Oh, you did? Why? Yes. Ugh. I mean, maybe I had something to do with that? Well, you lasted for a year, so I guess maybe not. Really? Ghost has been really annoying. <laughs> well, I suppose being possessed isn't fun at all. <laughs> it doesn't seem like you two get along. We try, but... I DON'T LIKE YOGA! I see. Well then don't manifest when there's yoga going on. Hmm. Speaking of which... Kim, do you realize you've been living with this ghost for more than a year? Yeah. The better question is if Aphmau noticed and didn't think that through during Aphmau's year. So? You don't think it's weird that we call ghost... ghost? Ghost is, uh... I mean a name. What is Ghost's name? Why are you asking Kim what Ghost's name is? Yeah, Ghost is right there. Just ask Ghost. Oh! Um... Hmm, come to think of it, I don't even know that much about Ghost. Um, hey! Oh, oh after a year, my goodness. Oh, about we go swimming, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Gee, I can't figure out why oh. they can't get along. Ghost. You are avoiding questions yet again. Answering to people isn't my style. Huh? What is going- I forgot about this part. What is- What? What is this? It looks like the pool is full of balls. Wh what? Yes. How did this part. happen? Werewolves, maybe? Did the did did the web do I just like throw balls into the pool and I just didn't notice until now? It's like the fifth time this has happened! I If it's the fifth time, then why are you confused about it? I wanna know who's been doing this! I wanna give them a piece of my mind! Same, but doubt anyone is gonna fess up. Bah, I'm coming out! Is this some sort of prank? It's not a very good one. I mean those those balls look like really light, just like go that's it. Easy. You can swim around all you want. What? Huh? I... I can't get out! Swim around- Oh no! Around them. Yeah! <laughs> Don't worry. Well, in case someone wants to find a lesbian character to ship in the Athmar universe, Kim is afraid of balls. Take that the way you want. Hey, you'll get it. Hey, Lucinda! Hey! Zane and I are going out to a floating tiki bar. Do you want to join us? Yeah, sure. Perfect! Uh, where's Kim? Do the tikis float? Oh, yes. They float. Help! I'm drowning! Uh... Zane? <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Roll that back. Swim around them. Yeah! Death, Lucinda, help! <laughs> <laughs> Lucinda Senpai, save me! Don't worry, you'll get I it. I can't get out! Hey, Lucinda! Yeah, that's not the part I was I wanted to listen to. Uh, Hang on. Hey! Zane and I are going out to a floating tiki bar. Do you want to join us? Yeah, sure. Perfect! Uh, where's Kim? Help! I'm drowning! Uh, okay. So, you know the way she says, help, I'm drowning, it feels like there was like, I'm drowning, but the way that it is, I've heard this before, because sometimes, sometimes when I like, edit audio, I have to cut out when somebody has messed up a line, I can't get them to re-record it. 
but what I'm thinking in this one is that that's like the the start of a sentence, but I don't think it was the end of it. So my my fan theory is, you know, my Athal theory here, um, is that the 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 um the sentence was just was all was like so bad that even Athmal didn't think that she was going to put that in the final cut. Could it, it could have been so like, oh, help, I'm drowning in balls. And then the part with the, the in balls was like cut out. Like, I'm drowning because, again, not the end of a sentence, very clearly. Uh... Zane? <laughs> well, that was easy. Hi. I guess we know that Ghost is straight. Zane? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot. Perfect! We're all here! Come on, let's go! Yeah, actually, if Kim if Kim was a lesbian, that would make, that'd make dates extremely awkward with ghosts. Because he'd just be like, oh, why, why am I here? What's going on? Perfect. And with that, Mr. Aaron Lichen, your physical therapy is complete. You're free to go. Yay! Well, how does it feel to be free? <laughs> I... feel great. Good! That means you can do another season! Wonderful! Yeah, you made a lot of progress. Ball. Especially from what your doctor on land told me you had been through. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a guy that we hadn't seen before this point. We all knew who it was, because that title is her dad, but still. I wasn't in great shape. Well, you're all healed now. Just remember not to go doing any crazy stunts. You can run, jump, and even do a backflip, but anything unsupportive or completely unnecessary should be a- So, doing a backflip is- doesn't count as unsupported? Sure, why not? Avoided. <laughs> He's a werewolf. Which would mean a backflip is actually out of the question. Oh, okay, fine. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Zack. No problem. Say, uh, mind if I ask you a question? Sure, uh, but I'm in a little bit of a hurry. I, I need to get back to... I had noticed your scars. The ones on your chest. You need to get back to who? You're not gonna say someone- I'm gonna say someone's name, just in case a certain character hears it, and that ruins something for later? Are some- Gone? Uh-huh. What do you mean? It's just, I could have sworn there were a few more. Oh, yeah, no, 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 don't worry, my girlfriend's been healing them. You know, Athmal, that's her name. Her name is Athmal. Very rare, very rare name sometimes, the only person I've ever heard from that name. Have you heard of someone from that name before? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, uh, nope. I I've had the same number of scars since I've started working with you. Is that so? I mean, why would he not want to say, oh, someone's been using healing magic? It's not like it's out of the question. It's not like he's going to be like, oh, healing magic. Well, I must report this to Michael immediately or something. Like, that's not going to happen. That's true. Lucinda knew healing magic, so it, it should be assumed that they, they wouldn't just automatically assume it's Aphna, right? I, mean, I, I know it's, yeah, I know it's a rare practice, but it doesn't seem like it, like it, it interferes with anything. It's not like, like it's going to be like, oh, you can't have healing magic while also, like, on the pain medication that you're on or something. Yeah, like, he he didn't know Athmau during the time that she knew healing magic, so why would he assume it's Athmau? Yeah, that, that's, that, that is also, yeah, that's also fair. So, so, so without even saying names. So, yeah. and like, also, as far as he's Aaron aware... Wouldn't, Aaron wouldn't doesn't... assume that Aaron wouldn't assume that naming Aphmau to anyone who's like, you know, he's been under the care of over the, of over the past year would be a problem either. So there's like four reasons this doesn't need to be a secret. Knock, knock. Hmm? Oh, hey, Terry. Sorry to barge in, but I wanted to see if you were done with your patient. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, come on in, Terry. Sorry, we were just talking for a bit. He was just leaving. Ah, you must be Aaron Lycan. I am. It's nice to meet you. Terrence, but you can call me Terry for short. Pleasure to meet you, sir. 
So, I heard that you were the one planning to propose to your gal here soon. Huh? 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 <laughs> Sorry, I kind of spilled the beans on that one. Yes! Wait, so he spilled the beans as proposing to his gal, but didn't say her name? At all? Okay, this... would I... On another point, I'm just throwing this out here. That feels like it's illegal to start leaking random details like that to just random people. I don't, I feel think, it, like, I don't think it is. I don't think I that's... feel like that breaks confidentiality. Oh, you mean like doctor-patient confidentiality? I think that's more to do with the actual treatment of a patient themselves, not to do with, you know... If, if you're not a therapist, you can't, it's not like you're like, oh, that, that conversations are off the question, I think. That's my He's understanding. He's a type of, of anyway. therapist. Okay, well, f physical therapist, but I know that speaking is a physical ability, but I don't think that's what they're referring to here, just in case that comes up. No, sorry, I'm sorry, I just sure. need, I need clarification about, about... Okay, I'm, I'm more concerned about the fact that he's pulled a, that Aaron has pulled a feeding stop days. You know, you know how, like, Annabelle never said Hunter's name until the last episode, and I was constantly complaining about that during my reviews? Because I knew it was going to be a, a twist at the end, and uh, someone's like, oh wow, that's right, she never said her, his name, blah blah blah. And I was like, there from episode one. Well yeah, exactly the same thing happened here. Ar Aaron didn't mention Aphmau's name any time he discussed Aphmau, clearly. So, um, I am, but it's Why a secret. <laughs> of course, I'd never tell. This will be strictly between us. But... And everyone else in the sack of stones. If... And Michael. If you were planning on proposing to her here, I have a few places I could recommend to you to do it. Oh, you do? I'm a sucker for romance. I love seeing two people happy together. Mm. So, if there's any way I can help, just let me know. I'm more than happy to lend my help. Well, if I need oh, wow. some advice... Look, this, this is how far behind Adri is in terms of Aphmau. The Snake Eyes Man re. <laughs> Oh, that's a blast from the past right there. I guess I'd be interested in asking you. Yeah. Uh, but right now I'm really in a hurry to get back to my girlfriend. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Oh, here, take my card. It's got my number on it. Call me if you ever need a favor. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for everything, Dr. Zack. It's been wonderful to work with you. No problem. Hopefully I won't see you again in my office. <laughs> Take care, Aaron. Nah, you'll see him again, just somewhere else. Hey, Aaron! Hi, Dad! Bye, Dad! What the- Aaron, where are you going? Sheesh, I came to thank his therapist for all their hard work. I was hoping Aaron would introduce me, but... Guess I'll have to go introduce myself. Hold on. What? So, okay, I guess it didn't really compute for me, because obviously, you know tensions are high between Derek and Zack, so yes, naturally they would be, but did Derek not hire the ther the physical therapist himself? He hired everyone else who was working around Aaron because of the Ultima secrets and to make up for his past mistakes as in raising him. So why would he not have also hired a physical therapist and chosen that himself? Why would he not know who the therapist is? Well, moving on from that, I suppose. Wow! I've never seen something like this before! I know, right? You have to swim to get to the tiki bar! There's lots of places here you need to swim to get to. Ha! <laughs> Sucks to be a- Which feels like really poor health and safety, but sure. Smell then. Come on, let's go. Wow, Zane, she's your best friend. That's mean. Even for you. Again. <laughs> yeah. Let's order some food. See, Aiden says I make that joke too many times. Clearly, other you know dead characters do. Good drinks. Oh, that was awesome. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need a doggy bag. Uh, for me! For later! Did someone say doggy bag? Of course. You told me they were- Why did we have that music for the werewolves? That was like some off-brand pink panther right there. Did someone say doggy bag? <laughs> we're out of doggy bags, please. I said you couldn't have my doggy bag. You already ate yours. That's because Rylan ate mine. Because Dottie ate mine. Well, Maria ate mine. Yeah, because Daniel ate mine and it's got carries on. It was delicious. Oh. Never mind, I guess Maria is shameless, fair enough. Hey, it's you guys again. Oh yeah, you guys are Aphmau's friends. Good to see you again. What have you guys been up to? See, they can mention Aphmau's name. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, doing things and stuff. Sunbathing. Relaxing. Eating. And playing fetch. <gasps> Those balls? Those Why? are yours? And also, how did he throw so many at once? How big are Daniel's hands? Yep, e they're all e our balls. Yeah, no, it's just not going to touch that one. Say what you're going to say. Yeah, that's, that's... <laughs> Good time to pause there. I'm glad yeah. you're all right. Uh... Right, uh, I don't, I, you know, maybe it's not that he threw it all at once. Maybe he was just hyper and just oh. kept throwing them. Oh, he, he, has, he has like a hyper, like, cannon hand or something. Like a cartoon, yeah. It's oh, like yeah. whenever, it's like whenever they started throwing, uh, eggs during, uh, Alice comedies. Oh, of course, yeah. Either, either that or, or, you know, actually, fitting enough, snowballs in my season one, I guess. Um, I mean, I, I've, only, I've only got, we've only got one person watching the stream right now, I can say this. Un brazo metalleta. There we go. For you, you know that pool is filled with them? I was drowning and everything left in the pool! Can we just Stop it! You this? can't be mean to people like this! Yo, I... See, it's, it's already tempting to, like, again, I already thought that she said drowning in balls before. You're just making it super obvious now. I don't like how you're speaking to Daniel, so can you, like, not? Yeah, that was rude. Sorry about my friend. She's not good with words. While it was rude of her. Sorry. It's not for you guys leave your balls in the pool. It makes swimming hard, and we have to clean it up. I'm sorry. Also, like, how, where did you keep getting from? Like, you just don't think you want to take them with you. He he has a uh, bunch of balls just sitting just sitting in his bag. We live in a consumerist society. Hurry. It's alright. Hmm. Maybe that's because you guys are so bad at catch. What? But you haven't... But they weren't being thrown to catch. What do you mean? They I mean, known. it's understandable. We are faster than you guys at fetching stuff. Hmm. They wouldn't know where to fetch us to take them back to. It's not really fetch if you don't have anywhere to go back and return the thing you're fetching to. Sounds like a That's challenge. not true. That's not true. I have a dog, and she loves playing fetch with herself. She just picks up balls and just starts tossing them across the house, and then going and getting them, and then throwing them again. In the I in see. the cycle repeats, so it's absolutely possible to do it on your own. Aha! Uh -huh, fair enough then. <gasps> oh, you guys want to play volleyball? I'm down. Uh. I'm very in. Game. All right, we're for it. But... Was that a shallot reference? I mean, considering that it's it's, it's Me Miss Megami thirty three. Was that a was that um? I just got ties to Dragon Ball. Like um, was that meant to be like a shallot reference? Haha, I'm game! I can't do the impression. Haha, I'm game! There we go, something like that. But to make it more interesting, losers have to clean up the pool back at the main house. Deal! <laughs> you guys are so going down! I mean, yeah, it will take like th it will take like 10 seconds. Especially if you do it between like the four of you. Next to Aaron, I'm the strongest! Oh yeah? Well, we have got- Aaron is only just recovered. How are you still weaker than him? And he's strong too! 
<laughs> oh, shucks. It's true. Then bring it on. <laughs> ah, okay. I think I know what scene is coming up here, and Ghosty referenced it before. It also feels very unfair that we're playing a volleyball match without Caitlyn being there. You also have to oh, keep in mind... Never keep in mind. Aaron's also not a normal werewolf. Well, yes, but he's also he's been injured for a year and going through physical therapy. Your just point? I feel, like, I feel like he's more OP by default. Okay, but we never really had power-scaled Ultimas, so like, how exponentially stronger are they? Because Ian went toe-to-toe -to -toe as a regular werewolf with Aaron at one point. Well, there's the power scale. He just he just said the power scale. He's stronger. But th that's not how that... Mm. That's not what I... Okay, fine. Uh. You know something? There was um once... There was a, somebody who called Time Lords, I think, who... Uh, we met through the Aphmau wiki, and also has commented on a few videos of mine in 2018, 2019, actually. Um, and they apparently were friends with um, with Seth the programmer. So I was gonna say, oh, why not do we could, why not do like a power scaling Aphmau characters video at some point? Very on brand for Seth the programmer. Something a little bit, a little bit different from Dragon Ball, granted, but again, a bit, a bit of a divergence. Never hurt anyone necessarily for too long. Um, and yeah, I now regret not asking to do that, because, um, clearly that would have helped. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone here? Aaron Lycan is my son, and I wanted to... Oh, don't you mean Aaron Wolfware? Hmm... Hi, Derek. You... <laughs> I bet you never thought you'd see me again. That's what you get for not hiring the therapist yourself, you idiot. How did you... Get out? A lot of time, pain, and effort. Did he, did he lock him in, a, in, a, in another dimension or something? <laughs> Was that the real reason he left? It's like his other family, extra dimensional beings. So much time lost. I yeah, actually, I think that was the exact reason they gave. Oh, well then. You and Garte. That was an accident. Oh please, don't try to save your tail now. What was done was no accident. Besides, you should be thanking me. After everything you've done, I still put my pride aside to help Aaron recover. Stay away from everyone, or so help me, I'll make sure everyone knows you're- No. I mean, he did actually, you know, help him, and actually, you know, doesn't need to be around him anymore, so, yeah. Also, I just read something, this, by the way, this is what I'm talking about when, when like, it's the opposite of what I was saying before about, you know, setting up things for the future, and, and not giving away everything right now, and then not, like, treating all like they're stupid. Because the audience are intrigued by this now, but not all the answers are laid out immediately there. So you know what? Just because you've you've subverted that from previous and stuff, various things that you've done out now, this scene gets my Levi drink for today. God, you drink things in a, the uh, weirdest way. A pan-dimensional, um, a pan-dimensional Levi drink there, and that's the whole point. That's that BB. That's the whole point of the Levi drink. Is to is to point out how weird that poster was in the first episode. No. You won't. Yeah. You're going to stay quiet like a good boy, unless you want your son to get. You can't say that to a werewolf. <laughs> involved. No, I think he's just the bottom. Okay. Oh. They have. A, they had Derek. a very intense sex relationship in the past. Oh, what? Derek and Zack? <laughs> yes. Okay. Sure. You know what? Maybe, maybe, um... Actually, wait, no. 
I was about to say maybe Derek and Zach, but Derek was like Zach's other family. But I realized before I said that they'll make him and Af- like Aaron and Afma related. So no, no, that's not what happened. No, I no, I think Alabama's fun until the wedding. No, we are all gonna be one big happy family together. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're all going to be. They are not currently. That is the difference. No, 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 no. It's because he's been gone for so long, you see. Words of importance. So okay. I'm excited to see this family reunite. And speaking of family, actually, the episode is called Her Dad, but... The only way that we know that Zack is Atmau's dad in this episode is the title saying that he is her dad. Though, like, Zack doesn't give any sort of hints in the in-universe that he is Atmau's dad. And, he do- and like, no one mentions Atmau to him deliberately. And clearly, over the past year, apparently, no one has in general. I'm still very confused as to how Derek managed to sign that out of physical therapy and not check who was the therapist? Especially because he would have at least wanted to check and see if they were a werewolf. I know that Zack is a werewolf, but he would have wanted to check at least because he doesn't want someone to get turned. That was one of his main concerns over the life, and if Aaron's lost control of his eyes again, he's going to think about that too. So once again, everyone is everyone absolutely sucks at planning in this series, did not think that one through, and now they're suffering the consequences of it. So at least there's a little bit of catharsis from that point. So, that's a little bit of a reassurance for me, but yeah. As far as the episode goes, um, the parts I did like physically had nothing to do with, with, um, with Derek and Zack. Um, I'm still going to maintain my theory about the balls in the pool, um, and I wish we could see more of that volleyball match and stuff. It's, I like to see the fact that, you know, the werewolves and the humans are hanging out and such. It's, it's good they're bonding even though, even though after the high school times, there's something else come out that relationship i guess that dynamic so ultimately you know the stuff with them was good stuff the episode is named after um so yeah what are your thoughts Vivi? i think we get some very good lore here very good lore and i at the end at least but yes I think it's very helpful for context of the rest of the series in so many ways. Um, we've learned that Kim's lesbian. Oh, that's good lore, yes. That's a good point. That's good lore. That wasn't the end. Uh, we learned that they uh, have a life. Well, had a life, you know. But between between the this season and last, you know, just during whenever they're off camera is whenever they have a life, but whenever they're on camera, it, no. No. I mean, yeah, that, that's something that I, keep, I keep telling people, you know, just because we don't see everything the characters do doesn't mean they don't have other stuff going on, like, outside of revolving around Aph now. I do say it to people, actually, so good that you've distinguished that, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it was an alright episode. I, I mean... Yeah, it, it was It was alright. It's one of the ones that I wouldn't classify as... Uh, I wouldn't classify as great, but I, would, uh, but I wouldn't classify as terrible either. It's one of those ones, basically. It's it's what Marvel fans would, would describe as mid. I see. Fair enough, then. That's where that comes from. <laughs> right, fair enough. It's a very mid episode. Yeah, uh, it's because it's, right. it's middle of the road. Which... Is weird because they always say mid as like this terrible thing when it's supposed to be like in the middle when you never describe it like that. And it's really dumb, but hang on. Yeah, I don't know. I used, I mean, to, for, for quite a while, the word peak happens to be um, that me like the slang for it is that it means bad, but peak means like the top of something, like the pinnacle. So you would think it would actually be something good, but it just isn't. I don't know. So, that's that's one thing. Uh, also, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna before we then, I just realized I went to read off a couple of comments um, 
in uh in in this in this episode because there was a comment I found very interesting actually I need to remember where it was. Okay, here it is. So it's um, it's a sparkle gal. The last digit you are is who you are. The, okay, sorry. The last did digit you are is who you are. I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, one is Lucinda. Kim, no, two is Kim. Three is Melissa. Five is Kawhi Chan. Six is Zane. Seven is Afmal. Eight is Aaron. Nine is Eric, and zero is anyone. So, um, basically, that means that, uh, there's no number four, so I like, so one person actually in the comments said, um, said, that, yeah, Melody Kreiner said, Sparkle Gal, I'm four. <laughs> oh, and Slime Sparkles also said, I'm number four, but there is number four, so, oh, right, when you missed the number four, yeah. There are 472 comments in here, and most, like, replies to that, and most of them are about, um, <laughs> most of them are about number four. I just thought that was funny. Anyways, um, we go from the next, from the episode of, um, Her Dad, to one very fittingly titled the same way, called You Are My Son, which, uh, came out tomorrow, so I get no rest from streams this week, clearly. I'm just gonna keep going until I collapse. So, yeah. But we're doing that, obviously, like I said, tomorrow. Same time, same place, five years later. Until then, please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters. And subscribe if you've not done so already. And, oh, we all know how the story ends, right? Oh, yes, yes, that is true. But we were over here, but yeah. Anyways, so yeah. Thanks everyone, subscribe to us already, like it all. Come back here for tomorrow and on that note until next time subscribe to the butter bunch as well because i keep making a mention that people might just say that subscribe to the butter bunch we're close to 500 subscribers on there actually with 13 away so there you go get to subbing there people or follow on twitch if you're still on twitch here anyways on that note until next time farewell <laughs>